I didn't fully understand or embrace what it meant to be a caregiver um, until way, way, way late. The doctor said to, to me that my life was going to change pretty significantly, which I thought was kind of a strange thing, thing to say um, when my husband was the one who had just been diagnosed. Um, and I didn't realize that at the time, but I basically became a caregiver from that moment. This process, I mean, it really took a huge toll on me. I mean, I, I wasn't sleeping. Um, I wasn't going to the doctor for myself, surely not. Um, I wasn't taking time for any breaks to restore myself. Um, I wasn't taking care of my relationship with my husband. Um, I was moved out of my role at work. Um, I can't tell you the number of cavities that I've gotten through this process because it's like even something as basic as making sure to brush my own teeth came last after everything everybody else honestly the people that helped me the most helped me figure out what what the landscape of possibilities were were other um brain tumor uh, wives who spoke to me about their struggles. That's what would actually be the most useful. Um, just that 15 minute conversation with someone who's lived that experience might bring up things that you didn't even know were possible. I thought they were teaching me all of this as sort of like a backup, you know, like in case something, someone is delayed in traffic, here's it. And I didn't realize until I got home and the hospice people started coming that I was actually the person who was going to have to do all of this. And, and then I was like, I, I can't work. I, someone has to do all of this. And so I, I had to stop working. I did everything for the most part the way that I wanted to. It cost me and my husband and my children and our family so much. And yet it was a privilege. Um, I'm glad that I had the means to be able to do it the way that I did. And, and still there's so much that we lost because of how, how little real support as a, at a societal level that I had. You're gonna get sick. Your family members are gonna get sick. Your kids might get sick. That is a given. So given that that's going to happen, why do we not have a solution for how to help people?